What's up, Pinky Gang? It's your boy Zach back with another video. And in today's video, as you guys have seen by the title and the thumbnail, I'm going to be creating Agent Double Zero's exact build on NBA 2K21 Next Gen. Now, if you don't know who Agent is, I'm not really sure why you clicked on this video, to be honest. But hey, you're more than welcome to stay. Um, Agent is an NBA 2K YouTuber, and the reason I say it like that is because recently he hasn't been playing as much and posting as much 2K as he has in the previous years, but historically he's been known as like the jump shot plug. This dude's always been like plugging people with jump shots, and so I kind of want to create his in real life build in NBA 2K21 just because it sounded fun to me. But nonetheless, in today's video, I'm going to be creating Agent's exact build, his face creation, his jump shot and all of his animations. But first, let's start off with the build. All right guys, now that we are in the builder, tell me this face creation does not look like Agent, but we'll get that in a second. First name Agent, last name Beamstar. If you want, you can go Agent with the last name. So when you make like a created jersey, like I would buy like a Raptors jersey maybe. Um, if you wanna have like a Raptors jersey, you can put Agent as the last name and have double zero and it look kinda cool on a jersey, but I just want Agent Beamstar cause I'm not doing that. Um, I believe he is right handed. His jersey number is double zero because obviously that's his name. Um, for the height, you want to go five foot eleven or five foot ten. I'm gonna go with five foot eleven. Um, you want to max out your weight here because Agent he has been slimming down, but I still think he's above 200 pounds, and this is the highest weight we can go. Um, he doesn't have a crazy, absurdly long wingspan. He's kind of like an average guy, and most people's average wingspan is around the same as their height. So I'm not 100% sure what his wingspan is, but I'm just gonna keep it around here just because that's what I assumed it would be. But I'm not 100% sure. Previously, Agent would be a burly body type, but nowadays I would say he's either solid or compact. He, soon enough, he's going to be looking slight or maybe even uh, uh, defined, but right now I'm going to say he's probably like a solid body shape. And so we're going to get into our finishing. Now, Agent likes to back people down in the post using his bigger size. Um, he's not been as effective as of recently just because he has slimmed down a little bit and he can't just muscle everybody around in the paint but that's one of his things that he goes to all the time so we're gonna max out his close shot so that affects like just easy standing layups and stuff um and also like post hooks and agent does love his hook his little hook shot um we're gonna max our post control because that kind of goes with it um and our driving layup is gonna get right at an 84 um just to get as many um finishing badges we can get so we get nine so we can get like maybe dream shake um eventually we'll get back down punish when we raise our strength um maybe hook specialist all those badges sound great now for our shooting we're gonna get our mid-range at an 82 um which is very good but our three-pointer is gonna go maxed out at a 95 now agent has branded himself as a sharpshooter he's even got merch that says agent range on it so we're gonna have a very high three-pointer on this build so at 99 we're gonna have a 99 three-pointer and a 99 free throw with 25 shooting badges now this build i probably wouldn't run it um to be honest unless you're like a really skilled player because <laughs> agent is definitely not an nba caliber player um definitely you'll be able to be okay with this build if you do have a 95 three-pointer just any build that can space the floor like that's gonna be okay but you're not gonna be quick on this build but maybe if you made this build a little bit taller like if you just took the average height and like kind of put it on a spectrum of like the average nba height and average human height you could, he'd probably be around like 6'6 six, six, because it's probably like the average NBA player height so if you want to do that you can go do that but I'm making his exact build and for our ball handle we're gonna get this right at an 80 just so we can help this build out a little bit and we can get those pro drill moves you're not gonna be speed boosting but having pro drill moves will definitely help a lot um we want to get our speed with ball at a 74 this unlocks goal quick first step i didn't want to go overkill and give him like a 95 because that's just not agent man but i did want to get gold quick first step just a little bit just to help this build out and our passing accuracy we're gonna get this right at a 70 um i wanted uh, to get floor general on this build and dimer what so at 96 we'll get floor general at 95 or just off rip we'll get dimer so that's why i did that now for our defense we're gonna max out our interior defense we want to be the best interior defender we can be on a 5 foot 11 build so we're gonna try our best to guard people we're gonna get our perimeter defense at an 80 just to get clamps the reason we're doing this just we're just trying to get some certain badges because you don't want this build to be absolutely garbage so that's why the reason we have 80 uh perimeter d 80 ball handle um 84 driving layer just to get like extra badges and stuff 74 speed with ball to get quick first step 
that's just kind of the way you got to do and same thing with our steel we're going to get this at a 69 um nice we do unlock pickpocket and before that we do get interceptor or is that yeah right there so we're gonna get this at a 69 we're gonna max out our offensive and defensive rebound and now we have five defensive badges now for our speed we're not gonna go overkill um we're gonna get this right at an 80 and for our excel we're gonna get this at an 87 or not 87 a 77 excuse me that would be a little bit much and we're gonna max out our strength we're gonna put one less attribute either on a vert or our stamina it doesn't really matter um but yeah as you can see we have nine finishing 25 shooting six playmaking and five defense not a very good build if i'm gonna be completely honest but hey it's asian uh, he's not no nba player so for our takeovers i'm just gonna go with limitless range and then probably spot at precision just because agent is definitely pulling from deep and i think it'd be pretty cool to just pull it from agent range with this build you know so as you guys can see the build comes out as an inside out scorer a pretty decent name i i don't think it's nothing crazy but it's a nice name the shades of are not accurate because there's no nba player that plays like agent there's no five foot eleven back to the basket type sharpshooter type build he's a very unique player so i'm gonna just show you what uh, badges i put on we'll just do this real quick just because we got a lot of other things to get through in this video so i'm gonna go with back down punisher hook specialist um and then bronze post spin technician boom there you go uh for our shooting we're gonna go hall of fame deep threes hall of fame circus threes hall of fame hot zone hall of fame hot shot hall of fame blinders hall of fame green machine i think he's got hall of fame uh, range extender t-shirt or green machine one of the two he got a merch that says that in real life or something um, probably like bronze catch and shoot boom going through this quick i would go gold quick first step bronze bailout and then silver unpluckable and then for our defense i would go gold clamps bronze interceptor and then maybe uh bronze rebound chaser boom that's the badges um i'm not really sure which jumper you should use uh probably any of these are really good maybe paul george curry any of the typical jump shots that you see like the comp you will be using and yeah we're gonna go straight into the face creation next so when you're making this face creation you want to obviously pick this head preset right here if you choose any of these other ones around it um it would just won't look the same and it won't work so uh we're gonna go hair natural max length his hair is probably a little bit longer than this probably around the large afro length but it's this style and i was also kind of thinking like this style would work pretty well as well the wavy dreadlocks but it just doesn't really fit the same so i just went with the natural hairstyle he's a pretty big forehead not gonna lie he's always wearing his headband mad weird in his uh his in real life basketball videos but so i went school height 20 school with 16 um he got a brow we went brow one he's got the um just all these stuff right here and for our eyebrows he's got eyebrows six i just went with that because that's probably what it looks like the most I went ears nine. He's not. He doesn't have like the biggest ears. He's got some normal sized ears, normal sized face. Um, he does kind of have like the the T Mac eyes, if you you know what I'm saying. Like the kind of like the droopy downward eyes. Um, I don't. So yeah. Um, nose 14. Boom, boom, boom. Probably. Wait, no. I'm gonna go back to that. That probably went too quick. Uh, upper nose with four. Lower nose with four. Nose position seven, upper nose prominence 18. Both the other ones are zero. The cheeks we went, cheeks five, um, upper cheek with four, middle cheek with 12. Um, for our mouth, we're gonna go mouth three, uh, width three, thickness three, zero lip prominence upper, upper lip dent position 10, lower lip thickness seven, and no lower lip prominence. Uh, facial hair 32, that cool little stash he's got rocking always. Um, I just want to see some. I want to see him with a big beard, just like, just just for for fun. I want to see him with the hardened beard. Ugh, that, I don't like that. <laughs> I'm glad he doesn't grow out his facial hair. We're gonna go default chin, uh, no chin dimple, chin position, chin prominence 16, front chin with seven, rear chin with three, and chin position 12, um, and skin six. That's basically it. Now we're gonna go head back on this player. We're gonna go to the animation. If you guys want, I did upload this player's. Um, player dna so just look up my gamer tag um zach 2kyt no spaces no nothing or you could probably look up agent double zero and you could find it so for our signature uh let me guys let me know how i did on his jump shot i'm gonna put up like a side by side comparison to his jumper on screen but i think i i got it pretty similar he did do like his own jump shot creation video like he took his own jumper to the park in 2k17 and this is kind of similar to it 
but that's really outdated in the releases I don't know it didn't really look just like it and I think this looks a little bit better he does have that flick of the wrist right there and I just think it, it works pretty well um, quick timing contested Dirk I wasn't really 100% sure um, I didn't really know what free throw to put on I've never seen him shoot uh, free throws but he does like to take that double step back travel type thing in like normal videos I've never seen him take spin jumper so I just didn't even change it uh, default swing layup package I guess I'd probably go with like this dominant big man is that a layup package I could pick I don't know doesn't really matter uh, default something it's he's not he's not dunking either he's there's not a chance Asian goes up and dunks one um, fade two, hook five he's got that nice little post hook that he likes to do over the smaller defenders post hop shot seven shimmy fade three post shimmy hook two the big post uh, the big post spin shot uh, Magic Johnson's rebel style he likes to keep the ball up a little bit when he's dribbling um, he also likes to do this little like size up it's not like the same but like this first part right here he kind of likes to do that dribble around like when he's like joking around um, I didn't give him a park size because it's not really that great of a ball handler um, he does do this a lot he does like his little his little cross his behind the back his step back um, he doesn't really do many spin moves but he does like his hezzy and his step back um, triple threat style I, I didn't even change it I'd never really see him do that create anything crazy um, so yeah that's basically it for his signatures and stuff um, so I'm gonna go over like what attributes this is not his actual build obviously um, so some I'm gonna go over his badges that I put on his actual player just so if you end up downloading this player you can see what I put on I put a Hall of Fame back down Punisher drop stepper uh, post hook specialist and post spin technician obviously hall of fame d3's catch and shoot volume shooter because he does chuck up a lot of shots um no playmaking gold brick wall silver post move lockdown um I, he's from canada uh, i didn't really change much of his tendencies actually i think i might have so if you were going to put this dude in like a career sim um he has a high shooting three tendency good spot up three tendency i did a lot on this build i might do like an agent career sim because loki my league sounds hella fun like I, I kind of want to do like one of those PS4 my or the PS5 my leagues. Everybody's doing it on Xbox. I just kind of want to get in that type of stuff because I'm not gonna lie, Park is getting boring. But yeah, so this is just kind of the stats I went with, and so yeah. And now I will show you guys my player in the park. Just walk around with them real quick, and so yeah, I'll see you when we get there. Hey, so as you can see, you've got Agent in the park with the Toronto gear. Agent's always wearing shorts, bro. This dude thinks that cold literally doesn't exist for whatever reason. So we got the drip on. Uh, looks just like Agent. I can't lie. He's always wearing his Toronto hat, the Toronto Raptors hoodie. Um, I feel like this looks just like him. Got the afro kind of like pushing out the sides. I might uh, take his jump shot and do a gameplay in the park just for fun. Just if you guys want that, uh, if you guys like this video up, maybe let's say 40 likes on this video, I'll go ahead and do that. I'll use his jumper in the park. But yeah, man, if you guys like this type of content, you want me to do another NBA uh, YouTuber. I can go do that. So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Peace.